What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Cartoon Conspiracy Theory with your host as always, K-Mac Time Terror, going to be talking about The Simpsons. Now The Simpsons universe has a ton and ton of cool characters. This series has been going for well over a decade and it's just it's a really cool series. Um, personally, I'm not too into it, but I did used to watch it back in the day. I've watched some of the newer episodes. They're pretty good. I watched one with the crossover with Family Guy the other day. Actually, pretty cool stuff. But today we're taking a look at one character, or two characters in particular. First, we're looking at Nelson, um, you know, the bully guy. Uh, very, very integral character to the show. He's been there since season one. Um, and also we're looking at Barney and a very other, another very, very popular character been there since season one. You may be wondering, well, what do these two characters have to do with each other? What, what are we getting at here? And this is where the theory is going to just kind of take off. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just explain a little bit of this. Um, so let me just do some backstory. So first of all, we all know that Nelson Muntz has, lives a life of bullying. He's always bullying Bart, other children. He's very mean. He seems kind of sad and he seems kind of um, you know, this down, down kid, that's usually how bullies are, they're usually bullying somebody because they're down about something in their life, they have a rough life at home, they all has, they're, they have lots of problems in their own lives, to take it out on others and become this bully figure, well, this leads to him growing up to become an alcoholic loser, now by doing this, um, he basically becomes this alcoholic, he becomes fat, becomes all these things, he actually becomes Barney, now we'll, I'll explain what that means in just a second, so if you think about that, um, we have to also think about some other things. First off, I want to point out that there is time travel in The Simpsons timeline. It has been documented many times that time travel is a thing. There's a, to there's a toaster. Uh, there's an episode where, where Homer gets his hand stuck in a toaster. It sends him back in time. You know, he alters timelines. There's also the, the professor uh, makes a time machine out of a, a car, kind of like the a movie Back to the Future. So there's lots of time machines and time devices in this, so that's very integral to this theory as well. Now, the theory goes that after Nelson grew up and became an alcoholic, he was kind of looked back at his life, how depressing it was, and he's just kind of seeking a different life. He's seeking a change. He's seeking some way to stop the cycle he had been in for years. So he realizes that if he bullies Professor Frank into using, letting him use his time machine, he can go back in time, change his childhood, and make it so he doesn't go down the path that he currently went on. So he does this. He gets a time machine. He goes back in time. He gives himself the the, the uh, pseudonym, or gives himself he renames himself Barney Gumble, so he can fit in and people won't suspect anything. So he takes on a an alias of Barney Gumble when he goes back in time. He goes back in time to try and stop himself from becoming what he is. Unfortunately for Barney, he is time traveled right back to um, his favorite drinking spot, which is Moe's Tavern. And sadly, he walks inside of Moe's and completely forgets what he was doing. Therefore, sealing the time loop and he doesn't change his, his past so that he stays in the future as Barney. So there you have it, guys. I, I know it was kind of confusing, but uh, hopefully you guys understood that. You may have to go back and re-listen to it. Maybe you worded it a little bit weird. But basically, the gist of the, of the story is that Nelson grows up to be Barney. They are the same person. He tries to go back in time to stop it, but instead he just drinks at the bar and uh, totally forgot his mission, what he was trying to do. So that's all there is to this theory, guys. Uh, and before you guys start ripping this apart, because I know there's so many people out there that are going to start trying to poke holes in this, saying that you know this part of the Simpsons timeline doesn't agree with that and blah, blah, blah. Well, just want to keep in mind that this is a theory. It's a fan theory. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be completely canon. It's just something that I do for fun. So before you guys go ripping it apart in the comments, um, I would really appreciate if you guys could just keep that in mind. As always, guys, have a great day. Don't, guys, don't, don't forget to hit that like button. If we hit that 500 like mark, we will go ahead and drop out the next theory for you guys a day early. And as always, you guys can feel free to subscribe to my channel for more of these videos in your sub box. I do them about a couple times a week. And as always, there's also a code word you guys can drop in the comment section. Let me know you guys made it all the way through this video. Today's code word is donuts. So go ahead and drop it in the comment. I know you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, guys. That's all we have time for. Like I said, take it easy, guys. Until next time, remember it's always KMAC time somewhere. Take it easy and peace out.